This video is brought to you by Broadcast Brazil. Webcast, broadcast and mobile. Hey there! Let's make an easy lower third in Photoshop using some basic tools. Let's open a new document and use the film and video presets. I'm using the HDTV preset. And also let's make the background content transparent. First thing now is saving the document. Choose save as and save it as a Photoshop file. Let's call it lower third. Now let's place an image in here so we have a reference to work with. Let's use this shot, which I really like. Press enter to place it. You can see it's in my background layer now. I do this because I can now use these colors as my reference for building the lower third. We're going to use two tools. I'm going to explain you how to make a simple faded bar using the rectangular marquee tool. And we're going to work with the rounded rectangle tool. So first off, let's make a new layer and select the rectangle marquee tool. Most people don't use this tool in these kinds of tutorials, but I find it pretty handy and easy to use. I'm going to start making a shape. This looks good to start with. Now select the gradient tool and on top here select which kind of gradient. I prefer to use the foreground to transparent. So I can just drag in this selection. I don't like it? Use Ctrl or Command Z to undo. I'll start from here so I have more filled space. That works perfectly for me. Back to the selection tool. Now use Ctrl or Command D to deselect and you see we now have a nice shape to work with. It's still a bit boring, so let's do some more with it. Double click on the layer and we'll give it a bevel and emboss. Also let's put a color overlay. Let's pick a nice color. I like this one from the sun. That looks great. I'm gonna move it a little bit to the left using the selection tool to get rid of the beginning section of the bevel and emboss effect. So this looks better. Now let's continue and use the rounded rectangle tool. I want to make a nice shape in here. Like this it looks, looks great right? Let's put a texture in here. For the texture we're using a photo. So let's go to file, place and pick the photo, Sahara. So maybe you think, why pick this photo? Well, I really enjoy the texture of the sand. Press enter to place it, then go to layer. Create clipping mask and it will be masked inside the rounded rectangle. How cool is that? With the selection tool you can still place it around inside the mask. So this worked for me. Looks great. Now let's double click on the rounded rectangle layer and also give it a bevel and emboss. Let's make it a bit more transparent, around 60%. And also give it a color overlay. Let's pick the golden color from the photo. We'll use the blend mode color. That makes a nice fit. So now you have a nice space to put some titles above it or even in the rounded rectangle. Now select the Sahara photo because it's on top. Because we're gonna put another layer with a picture on top of this one. Choose file and place and select the broadcast Brazil logo. Let's scale it and use shift to constrain the proportions of course. So this looks nice. Press enter and place it again. Double click on the layer and now we don't use the bevel and emboss because it looks horrible. Let's use the drop shadow. Click on color and select a color a bit lighter than the black. So now it really stands out. It gives us more depth in the composition. This looks like a very nice lower third. 
Uh, let's uncheck the background photo so we have a transparent background. And go to File, Save for Web. Most people save it as a TIFF. I prefer using PNG. Now let's see how that looks. Looks great. I'm gonna save it. Lower third dot PNG. Now let's go to the finder and check the PNG file. It is transparent, just how we need it. So there you have it, a simple way to build nice lower thirds for video. Hope you enjoyed it and if you have any questions, let us know. See you next time.